The name of this play is Long Distance. This is Act One. It is an attempt at a poetry prose play. Wake up, wake up. Who the hell are you? I'm the telephone fairy. I have your mother on the line. Would you like to speak to her? Yes and no. Oh, by the way, it's a collect call. How much will it cost? Time will tell in more ways than one. Okay, put her on. Hi, Mom, how are you? Doing, enjoying the peace and quiet? Yes, son, it's so peaceful here, except for your father's snoring. I warned him. Smokey, those coffin nails will put you in your grave. Mom, I remember you wandering around mumbly, all for the peace of the grave. Reason, ch children's fingerprints on closet doors and walls. It's a trifle late, but I solved your problem. Mittens, except when we were eating, drinking, and sucking our thumbs. Son, you and sister had the warmest mittens money could buy. Mom, let's move on. Tell me, why did you have kids? I loved having babies. Bathing and nursing, I had the finest milk. You think your babies will always be babies. Mom, you always thought you knew a lot. How didn't you know babies couldn't be babies forever? Not even your babies. So, son, what's new? I have a new therapist. Is he Jewish? What the hell difference does that make? He's trying to demotherfy me, get you out of my fucked up head. He keeps reminding me you're dead. So, son, how's your health? When you left my home, you were a perfect physical specimen. Both my children were perfect physical specimens. No more, Mom. I had stomach cancer, and my left eye is bye-bye. What happened to your eye? Did they take it out? No, but when I close my right eye, I can barely see. Cancer, that's from your father's side. I came from the best stock. Mom, I'm thinking maybe all those enemas didn't work. You sure love giving enemas. I spent half my boyhood on a cold, tiled bathroom floor. When you ran a fever, the enemas always brought your temperature down. I was a fine nurse with my children. Does sister still play the piano? Is she watching her weight? I was proud of the way she played. You too. Mother, you were proud of you. I remember the piano bench. Who plays a piano bench? Please shut up. For once in your death, just listen. Remember, son, practice makes perfect. That's what you said. And then you were gone. Hat on head, purse in hand, shopping for food, and your goddamn cleaning supplies. I practiced, mate. I'm sorry, I practiced, I practiced being lonely. Son, I know, don't say another word. Just listen to the poem I wrote, not so long ago. I thought if I write it down, maybe I can erase the loneliness from my head. Atonal, who heard the notes I played? Chords in the key of C, and hear me. I practiced being lonely. A piano bench bear, but for me, I practice being lonely. I thought you played well, considering you didn't have sister's talent. That's it, Mom. No more. It's time to say goodbye. You can say goodbye to her, but not to me. I'm a till of the hun, your brother. We're forever a part of each other. Why do you tiptoe about when stomping is in order? Ask her why she sashayed around in corset and bra. Was it for we to see, or might it be a castrated dad? Fated never to be a bass, but maybe a tenor with a loving life coach at his side. Do you know why he gobbled down his dinner on Friday nights? Because freedom, though fleeting, awaited across the hall in apartment 3C, where Mr. Steinberg sat 
a pinochle or gin, gin, gin rummies deck in his hand. No matter to dad, he was playing the skate. Atlas, until a plea stop. The memory tape in our head is wearing me out. No, ask her why she pulled sister's hair when she couldn't force more food down her throat. Maybe I'll tell you why. To satisfy her ravenous appetite, to rule the roost, the course be damned. Sister ate so much crow that she hasn't said that's delicious in 40 years. <laughs> I was force fed and hair pulled. I'm sorry, she hasn't said that delicious in 40 years. I was force fed and hair pulled friggin' years. Bert. Attila, she's Bert. dead. Six minutes is up. What's up? You're at six minutes already. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more to it.